Okay. So, this is my third time trying to record this. Hopefully, third time to charm. So, um, let me see. I'm doing um, some hand plated mercy plates under Tell Comic, and it's by Zarla, who is an amazing artist. Like, literally amazing. Way better than me. So, just look. Look, look at this. Amazing at drawing these creatures. Anyway, so I was just doing this before I got distracted and I had to restart. So, let's do this. Where is he? He's been late more and more often lately. I'm starting. Sorry, it's allergies. Let me hear my apologies. I got caught up in something. I should have all the readings you requested. Is something wrong? Dr. Gaster, Dr. Gaster, what happened to your face? It, it's cracked. I can't see his face. He's a lost soul pen. Oh, oh, nothing. Just an accident. I don't want to discuss it. And your coat. Ah, uh, yes. I have to do some repairs. Thankfully, I still have a sewing box. The queen. He's like, oh, I don't want to think about it. Well, I tried to fix it. Anyway, about the core. What happened? I told you. I don't want to discuss it. You were limping when you came in. You're shaking even now. You're still in pain, aren't you? This isn't about my personal health. If we're not going to talk about the core, then I might as well leave. When did this accident occur? How serious was it? I, I can do my best to heal you if you want. Fine. Call me when you want to be serious. I have work I need to get back to. Did Dr. Gaster... W.D. Gaster, you will answer me when I speak to you. Are you still wounded and how severely? I'll deal with that on my own. It's not your concern. You are being extremely childish right now. Come here. It's not your concern. Come here. No. Why is it so hard to get you to take care of yourself? Stop. Stop it. Stop. 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 Stop it. Stop, care stop caring about me. It'll be easier if you don't. I'm not really worried about him. You can't keep this up much longer. You just can't. I, ah, I always land with this comment. It's so funny. That is a really good comment. Anyway, let's let's see. I think I already did this one before. I want to it again. Let's do this one. Step it up already. Hot dog time! You know, you always go, people need me to do this, people need me to do, be like this. So, what it sounds like is that you don't have a choice about doing all this to us, right? But you know, my brother, you control everything that happens to him all day, every day. But he still chooses to believe in you, that you can change. And then he chooses to believe in me, and to be kind, and to care. Every day he makes that choice, no matter what you do to him. And no, I, and me? Oh, I got that, no. Every day I choose to keep going, for him. We're never getting out of here. We're never, we're never going to have any control over what, what happens to us. But we still make choices. You, you somehow you out there, on the other side of the beams, you always believe you got less freedom than us? Because you don't. You got choices. You're just not strong enough to make them. Yeah, exactly. Step it up already. <laughs> Creepy. Wait a sec. Oh, okay. I thought that both his eyes were glowing there. And I was just like, what? His eyes suddenly not broken? Wow, this is amazing. Okay, let's do this one. I haven't, I haven't read it yet. This one's about papyrus. You can't just refuse to participate. I don't want to kill anyone. I'm not going to push either button. The point of the question is that it's not an option. Yes, it is! You have to kill someone. That's why it's a difficult choice. No, I don't. There's always another way. I find another way. You can't answer every hypothetical. <sighs> this is a waste of time. You're never going to learn. You just refuse to deal with the real war. 
world. That's not what the real world is, what world is like. How would you know? It's not like that. I just know it. Do you? All right, then. Here's the next hypothetical. There's a young skeleton. He, maybe he's around your age. He believes in peace just like you do. Then there's a war. You mean to get to monsters. All the and friends are fighting. His, his, fam his brothers are fighting, but he's not. He doesn't want to kill anyone. His brothers are fighting, and they are losing. He does not fight. They die. They all die. Wow. Wow. If he had fought, he'd have saved them, but he did not. In hurting no one, everyone suffered. Now do you understand? Sometimes you have no choice. Hmm? That's why. That poor skeleton. What? A skeleton. I feel bad for him. Why? He got the people love killed. No, he didn't. That wasn't his fault. How is it not his fault? He could have done something, and he didn't. How is, how is his de those deaths not a direct result of his actions? Because he wasn't the one who killed them. The humans did. The skeleton just wanted to be friends. He could have stopped humans if he tried. No, he couldn't. You said humans were a hundred times stronger than us. If the skeleton fought, it, it would have changed anything. He would have died too. And I bet his brothers would, have, would be happy he stayed alive, even if they died. The, they would have been happier if they survived. If he had the strength to fight, it's his fault. There, It's not his fault. It is his fault. No, it's not. He didn't even want to fight. The humans were the ones who killed people. The humans were the ones who put him in that situation in the first place. You don't, if he'd, if gone through this, his inaction, he might as well kill them if he, he's like, <laughs> he's like stuttering. If the humans killed the, his brothers, then it's their fault. They're the ones who chose to hurt someone. It's not, it's not fair to get mad at the skeleton for not fighting. He wouldn't, he couldn't have done anything at, even if he did, it's not his. Yelling. It is his fault. It has to be. Don't look at me like that. We're done for today. And he is sitting there. Boy. Pull yourself together, man. I know you're emotionally broken, but still. Did I comment on this? No. His fam. <laughs> I wonder if this is long enough. Hmm. Let's do this one. Oh, oh, this is after the fight. It's called No One Anticipated. So pretty much, if you don't understand, Tim and Pyrus had a fight because Tim's about to ki kill this guy, but it was like, but Pyrus was like, no, we gotta be friends! Entry number. This has become, this is becoming a, a potential, a worrisome, no, a potential problem. The two of them have not recounseled, and as a result, they are doing po poorly. I remember being concerned about this earlier when I first introduced them to each other. The misgivings were not unfounded. The first taste of loneliness is poisoning them. One has refused to speak to me at all. He will follow directions, but he puts in only the barest minimum, minimum of effort, regardless of threats or punishment. I've grown used to Normally, he tries to engage me in, in debate, or I get on my nerves in something, an attempt to prove something. But lately, nothing. He does not seem angry, just lifeless, hopeless. Even the slightest movement seems to exhaust him. It is worryingly, increasingly difficult to get him to wake, even wake up each day. TP does not lack energy, but it comes with a new fragility. He has relied on his... his bro one as his support before whenever he failed at something and now with nothing to bolster him he is lost he cannot focus and even tests he used to pass are becoming impossible which is each new failure he gets worse he's, be he's begun asking me for reassurance which certainly proves he's desperate it's, so it's strange to see them so quiet I wonder what they're thinking about I've always, ha I've always thought I enjoyed the day when 2P realized that his mercy would have real consequences. That it'll get people hurt. But now that it's come, it's just inconvenient. At this rate, little is going to be accomplished. I'm not sure they'll even heal each other properly like this. The question is, what do they do? These sorts of social dramas are admittedly not in my skill set. I'm not sure I wouldn't just make things worse. I'm the focal point of this entire argument, after all. It looks as though TP is having a nightmare. 
Usually when it's so close by, he can wake him, but this time... He is alone. Wow! That is like... Wow. <laughs> wow. Took me a long time to read that. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop. Thanks for watching. Have a nice night, day. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Anyway, see ya!